Are you ready to spend close to 3 hours watching the various heroes of the Marvel Cinematic Universe compete to see who can punch Thanos the hardest? The runtime of Avengers, Infinity War has been revealed by no less an official source than Fandango, and here it is, 2 hours and 36 minutes, or 156 minutes. Scratch maybe 10 minutes off that number if you're a monster who skips credit rolls. See also, 5 Reasons Why Black Panther scored big with fans and critics Infinity War takes the crown as Marvel's longest movie to date, unseating the previous winner, Captain America, Civil War, it makes sense. Infinity War is poised to bring together all the various plot threads set up over the course of 18 previous MCU films, dating all the way back to 2008's Iron Man. There's a lot of work to do in getting all of these characters together and united against their common foe, Thanos. We also have a sense, thanks once again to Fandango, of who the most important players in this story are. Co-director Joe Russo didn't provide any numbers, but he did single out two characters in particular, out of at least 40, whom fans should prepare to see a lot of in the coming movie. I think Thanos has an incredible amount of screen time, Russo said, following up on an earlier point that, really, Infinity War is, his movie, Thanos has been glimpsed only briefly in previous MCU releases, mostly during post credit scenes. Russo also singled out Thor, played by Chris Hemsworth, aka the second best Chris. I think you'll find that Thor has a really interesting arc in the film, Russo said. He hasn't been at the forefront of other Avengers movies but he certainly has a very important role in this film, great news for Hemsworth fans, but also may be a little worrisome. Major characters are sure to over the course of Infinity War, and although the smart money is on Iron Man, Tony Stark and Captain America, Steve Rogers, the fact that Thor has a very important role could be read in the darkest way. We'll see soon enough. Avengers, Infinity War hits theaters on April 20.